How can this cave be carved out of solid rock? Weathering and erosion work together to get the job done. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Weathering and Erosion. Weathering breaks the rock down and erosion carries this rock away. Sandy Beach is an example of weathering. Parts of this sand at one time was quartz that was broken apart, traveled down rivers and streams, and ended up as small as a grain of sugar. Weathering of rocks is a physical or chemical change that changes the characteristics of the rocks on Earth. There are two major types. Physical weathering, which involves breaking rocks into smaller fragments caused by environmental factors, and chemical weathering, which are changes that involve rocks being changed into new substances or minerals chemically. Let's look at three major types of physical weathering. Abrasion, frost wedging, and thermal stress. Abrasion is mechanical scraping and can be caused by several factors. Basically, these factors just break the rock apart. Wind, water or waves, glaciers, gravity, and even plants and animals. Frost wedging occurs as water expands as it freezes, and this can cause the rock to break apart. Thermal stress is a type of weathering where heat and changes in temperature cause the rocks to expand and contract, and this can break the rock apart. Next, let's look at chemical changes of weathering. Remember, a chemical change creates a new substance. There are three major types. First, oxidation occurs as oxygen combines with iron in the rock and creates a new compound. When iron reacts, reacts with oxygen, it forms iron oxide, commonly called rust, and this weakens the rock. Hydrolysis occurs when hydrogen or hydrate replaces the ion and creates a new substance. For example, hydrolysis causes field spar to turn into clay. And finally, carbonation is the process of mixing water with carbon dioxide to make carbonic acid. This acid then breaks down and weakens rocks. Caves may be formed by carbonation dissolving limestone. Rainwater picks up the carbon dioxide from the air and as it percolates through the soil, slowly dissolves out the limestone. It breaks down the rock. Then erosion carries the rock away. Erosion happens when rocks and sediments are picked up and moved to another place. It could be moved by water, wind, ice, and even gravity. Erosion can occur slowly over time, like this sand dune, or quickly, like this flood. There are several different methods of erosion. Remember, weathering breaks down the rock, then erosion moves the rock away. Rainfall can cause erosion and wash sediment away. Valley erosion occurs when rushing streams and rivers move rock and sediment downstream. Oceans are a huge force of erosion. Wind can cause erosion. A dust storm can be a huge force of erosion. Glaciers and ice can erode rock away. Greenland and Antarctica have huge glaciers that move rock from one area of another. In summary, weathering breaks down the rock and erosion moves this rock away. If you'd like to know more about weathering and erosion, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.